very well. Now we will proceed to create the root component and mesh that will serve as the render object that players will see in our fist card. For this, we will start by forward declaring the possible options that you may choose. It could be a box component, aesthetic mesh or skeletal mesh component. I repeat, these are for the root component. Next, after the declaration of the fist card movement component pointer, we will add the pointers for the root component and the skeletal mesh. And also, we will start integrating the input function to move forward and move right go right besides the post initialize component following this go to the place where you have declared the name for the fist card move component and set the placeholder for the name for the fist card root after this go and proceed and include the set of player input component below the tick if there is not there already and finally declare the root component and mesh component in the private header just where you created the fish card movement component now head to the fish card c++ file and in this place you have to make the includes for the static box and the skeletal mesh components then again create the placeholder for the fish card root name this is the same name that you will name your root component on the blueprint after that proceed and create the movement component for the oh it was already created after that override the post the initialize components right before the begin play this is where we're going to take the pointer to the root component from the blueprint following that proceed to create the setup player input component and move forward or move right function this should be all ready now to start working on the blueprint Now that we are on the editor, we can see that the blueprint from the fist card has been updated. But there is no root component yet. You have to add it in this position. So, up until now, we have defined the root component as a skeletal mesh. So, create a skeletal mesh. Drag and drop on the root component and for now let's just set this cube just as a placeholder let's use the default to real vehicle meshes go to the button add import on the content browser add feature or content pack and select the vehicle the normal vehicle at the project now we should have the assets for, from the vehicle package. Return to the, your fist card. In the viewport, select your, your skeletal mesh and then select the sedan as the skeletal mesh. As we have a skeletal mesh as the root component, we don't need another skeletal mesh as the visualize object now if we check in the level we can see that the, the fish card blueprint it has the shape of a vehicle all is looking good right now great now let's go to our first card blueprint and let's create for this a camera that we can use to be to view it as the user. Go to the fish card blueprint, press the add button, look for the spring arm component, and rename this to camera spring arm comp. Now add a camera 
be sure to check that the camera and spring arm component and are in appropriate places. Now, this is one of my own configurations. Every time I use the spring camera spring arm component, I set the rotation type to world. You're going to see in a minute and the target arm length to 800. I set the transform the rotation to absolute rotation for the input component. So we head to the event graph and we're going to look for the move left or look look right axis event. Then we're going to grab the camera spring arm component and add a local rotation world rotation right click on the delta rotation and split strokes pin connect the axis value of the input axis look right to the delta rotation in the c jaw parameter now let's take the look up axis event and drag once again the cam camera spring arm component but this time we're going to add a local rotation. Right click on the delta rotation, split stroke pin and now connect to the pitch parameter. Compile and save your blueprint. Now select the fist card actor in the level and in the search detail look for process auto possess player and select that to player zero which is gonna be you now let's launch and we can now view around our fist card this is gonna be helpful for us to view what are we doing with the inputs once we are up there okay we are one more step closer to our goal I'm gonna do just one more thing before we head back to the visual. Go to the, your content browser and look for the vehicle BP folder. Look for the maps and open the vehicle example map. Select the vehicle which is the fish cards. Well, you should have a normal vehicle, but now you will have to it, utilize your own fish card. Drag and drop into the level. And set this to be your test your testing level for this project save all and now go to edit project settings maps and modes and select the vehicle example map from the vehicle blueprint project this is the map where we're going to be testing our parameters also, before I forget, select your skeletal mesh, go to the details panel, all the way to the collision tab, open the collision presets and make sure that it is selected on vehicle. Otherwise, there will be no collisions when we start utilizing this fish card. 